uh, as far as the cause of death is concerned. You remember in the funeral, everyone was keen to, to understand exactly what is the problem, uh, what probably could be attributed to be the cause of death. And during the day of the funeral, uh, on the mass funeral we had, we had no um, report, progress report at that point. It was still early days. And today we convened this meeting uh, with the families just to uh, give them the progress report, what probably one will call it as a preliminary report uh, in terms of what has been uh, thus far found in the uh, laboratories. As you all know that uh, we said we're expecting laboratories to give us uh, science of what has happened because what we we thought uh, probably would have assumed that uh, it would be a cause of death the stampede as many probably would have been speculating was immediately ruled out uh, during the process of uh, autopsy or the, the post-mortem uh, process and then a further investigation uh, from a scientific point of view had to be undertaken we Definitely needed not to rely on logic on this one, uh, so that we can dig a little bit deeper and get a proper um, a sense of what has happened. All of us, we were still unbelieving it. Uh, even today, it's still difficult to fathom exactly what has actually happened on, on the day. But at least now there's a sense of the direction uh, from what science is telling us through the investigation done. Uh, in our laboratories. Uh, this is what we have briefed the families about. Families appreciated. Uh, yes, of course, uh, wounds are still fresh. It's difficult to deal with something that is inside and something that you cannot see. The inside being the heart, uh, also what you cannot see being the, uh, the spirit. And uh, people are actually shattered, people are devastated uh, by these incidents. We know there were a couple of incidences that would have taken place uh, after that uh, of probably similar nature, but what makes this one to be uh, distinct or different from others is that young people died. Um, and there is a progress uh, that we have done in terms of uh, following the law. Uh, liquor board opened the case and the police followed that matter and uh, some people are arrested and the allegations have been put on them uh, to answer those allegations the owner of the tavern and uh, some uh, uh, people who are working uh, with the owner there uh, in that space so we are watching that one very closely uh, we're putting every activity around this matter under a microscopic view we don't want to leave anything to chance. No stone will be left unturned uh, to ensure that we get to the bottom of the problem, uh, that we found ourselves in the middle of it. We don't want to see such a nature of a debacle again. It must not happen. Um, hence, we said to everyone, uh, please bear with us. We've got to be meticulous uh, on this matter uh, so that uh, there is no rush, rush. But we thought uh, from the 26th of June till now, we needed an update with families so that uh, we don't create a gap. Uh, the more we do that, uh, we have some volunteers uh, or adventurers creating their own narrative. And, uh, so we don't want uh, that. We're working with families closely. We're planning funerals uh, with families closely. Everything that we've been doing, we've been doing it with families. We are very tight uh, on what we have actually uh, created, we have really established that uh, uh, symbiotic relationship. Or we have connected through that umbilical cord to make sure that there is no gap uh, between ourselves and the families. So whatever that we do, uh, before we talk to you, families are on board. So we, and we have, we've got to appeal to all of you also to respect this space. It's only time uh, that will make people heal. And we've got to give them time for people to hear. So we want to appeal to you also as media, as you generate your stories and report, assist us, assist us, assist those families to hear. Let's not exacerbate the problem. 
Let's not complicate the problem. The problem. So we're working on that, and uh, uh, probably, uh, Minister, uh, I can ask uh, Dr. Matiwane just to briefly talk on what has been uh, detected or what has been discovered uh, at this point in time uh, in the samples that have been taken uh, for uh, these uh, uh, kids. So we're quite happy that families have really welcomed this, uh, of course, with emotions, uh, of course, with emotions, but they've appreciated uh, what uh, government is doing and uh, we are indeed uh, together and they were embracing each other. Uh, we've got to face this uh, together up until we get to its logical conclusion. So today was about that day. Uh, thank you very much, Minister. I know you are not sleeping uh, uh, on the wheel or sleeping on the job on this one. Uh, you are always following it through step by step. Um, uh, from the police side, whilst they are doing their investigation, the other part is done more by health. These laboratories uh, are more actually uh, managed uh, through the Department of Health, and uh, hence you see. And uh, we don't want just to take anyone else to speak about this. Uh, the cause of death is a very sensitive issue. Uh, there are a couple of questions that families were raising. At this point, on point in time, uh, the uh, death certificate says uh, under investigation. There's no death called under investigation. So there must be something that uh, talks to that. So all those kind of issues, we are uh, making it a point that uh, they are all uh, cleared, but they can only be all cleared when we are able to put a finger uh, on that uh, particular issue uh, that has been. Dr. Maduan is going to speak to anomalies that have been actually detected, uh, which are still being worked around to make sure that we are perfectly or absolutely conclusive uh, on exactly what has happened. Because some of these issues, people could uh, co coexist with them, uh, depending on quantities uh, or, or qualities uh, in their uh, blood uh, system. Uh, Dr. Maduan, if you may just briefly talk on to those three, four elements. You want Dr. Matiwane here, isn't it? Uh, Nzwagi, you wanted to push this away. Okay, I want the diamond one to remain there. It must not go there. <laughs> okay. uh, thank you, Premier. <clears throat> Minister, MECs, Mayor, and the uh, protocol observed. Uh, good, good afternoon, colleagues. Uh, as the Premier said, we, we did say in the funeral that uh, there were 21 bodies that were collected on the day, which is the 26th, and postmortems were done on that day. <clears throat> we then also took uh, toxicology samples that were sent to the toxicology lab in uh, Cape Town where uh, the, it was mainly blood and gastric uh, 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 content uh, toxicology samples. We, we have now received the blood, initial blood results from the lab and those blood results, uh, the, the first three findings are for blood alcohol levels, carbon monoxide levels and uh, preliminary qualitative methanol uh, uh, level uh, results. So, so what uh, we, we was found is that for blood alcohol levels, the levels ranged from 0 0.05 grams to 0 0.26 grams per 100 milliliters, <coughs> which in itself is not uh, uh, conclusive of uh, lethal toxicology. So at this point in time, we, we can then say that that might not have been the final cause of uh, 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 death. Then the, the second layer of uh, 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 results that came to, through was that of carbon monoxide, which also was uh, ranging from 3.3 uh, to 21 percent saturation of hemoglobin. Now, under normal circumstances, you expect uh, uh, toxicology or lethal levels to be above 50 percent. So again, the, 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 the understanding is that this might not yet be the final cause of what we are looking at as the cause of 
uh, a lethal uh, toxicology. The last part that uh, we were looking at uh, at this point in time, the results that have come through, is that of methanol. Now, uh, methanol has been uh, detected in all the 21 individuals that was there. However, there is still a progressive analysis of, of the levels of methanol. So we just have the qualitative result that says uh, all 21 of them had methanol in their blood, but we still need to get the quantitative levels, which will then tell us whether these were at lethal or non-lethal uh, uh, levels as well. So in, in summary, the, 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 what we have is that uh, we have now moved from a point where we had said, yes, we, didn't, we did exclude uh, the stampede, but now we do have initial uh, results from the toxicology lab. However, at this point in time, there is no conclusive uh, result that says this was the, the lethal uh, uh, concoction that we are dealing with. Uh, I will uh, stand down on that, uh, uh, Premier. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, I can push it to the Minister. Uh, we are trying to do this thing so that you don't ask any question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you won't have any questions. Uh, so that the Minister can round up this part and go sit at home. Sorry. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Premier. Thanks to <laughs> Deputy Minister, the MSCs, the Mayor and everybody. The, the clan of news give us. Uh, good afternoon. We, we, we committed and we instructed to work with the families and the community as we were at the funeral. So we're trying to work on that one. To say one other thing is to now and again to help them to understand from the authority and official point of view, especially from the side of the medical technocrats, so that uh, it's not misinterpreted by ourselves what really happened and what really is happening. Uh, so families, we spoke to them, still a lot of pain with the families, uh, but I think also, they will appreciate that we are taking everybody on board. We did commit that we will come back to this community and find out what can we do uh, so that we don't experience the same encounter of what has happened where we lose so many uh, young lives. So it's, it's, it's another wing, the, the other wing of investigation, you know, somebody or some people have been arrested and uh, they'll appear on court, in court again on the 19th of August uh, to go and explain themselves and the, those laws that they broke after the case has been opened by the liquor board and the authorities from that uh, side of life. Uh, the police are here created a special investigation team uh, from the both uh, provincial and the head office uh, since we take the matter very, very serious. Uh, and we hope that uh, uh, you will uh, find out as the case continues what really happened on that particular day from the site of breaking the law. Investigations are continuing. We are not ruling out any form of uh, uh, finding other people that will be able to answer and give accountability of what happened on that particular day. But uh, from the side of the Premier and the, the, the medical practitioner has given the report, that way will we'll end. But for now, uh, we are working together with the family, with the community. We will be coming together <coughs> again with the community and the families uh, to find out what can we do? Uh, some people have called and correctly so that there will have to be some improvement of the alternative of life for young people and uh, uh, given more opportunities, we'll be working on that, that uh, as a community and uh, the three levels of government, as you can see that we remain so national, provincial 
and local government who want to work together and work with the family together until we find the final solution so that never again uh, we come back to speak about such a tragedy where so many young lives are lost uh, in a way that it has happened. Thank you, Pam. Thank you very much, Ndos. Uh, over to you, uh, Mr. Well, thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Premier, and Dr. Thank you, Mr. There's a report I will now uh, hand over to you. Um, if you have any questions, we'll take just five questions, and I will request that you introduce yourself uh, when you are on the podium. I've noted you, uh, and you said I've got four hands up. Thank you so much for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The big question though is what is the process going forward? What happens in the laboratory? What tests will need to be conducted? Who is conducting those tests? What is the time frame for that process? I mean these are scientific processes which can be calculated. So what is what is the position on that? Thank you, Johnny. Johnny Isaac, I'm also a freelancer. My question is uh, directed to you, Dr. Matiwane. Can you explain a bit how does methanol get into people's bodies? Thank you so much. Um, I'm so much for the I just want to know to the minister. Uh, does this case talk about the one uh, children that I had in the same park linked to other tavern killings uh, that happened after that, after, that, uh, after the first death? Thank you. Yes, you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. No, I think they've covered it. Okay. Uh, Linda Wushe Kulu from ENCA. Firstly, I'd like if, I'm not sure if it was said before, the doctor to just give us their full name, surname, and the designation in that regard. And yes, my question is as well is on the methanol. I just want to understand where could this particular substance be coming from and how would it be dispersed so that it can be discovered in all of the 21 deceased. And then can I also ask the question to the police in terms of the arrests that have been made. We understand those people are on bail at this stage. But just to get a sense, uh, I think I heard uh, the, the, the Premier say that uh, they were arrested after the liquor board had opened a case. So I just want to understand if uh, the police are also investigating their own case that they've opened or is it just that case? Because we saw that after the liquor board had opened a case, it was arrested and therefore it leaves questions of saying is, is murder being investigated because the liquor board would be uh, opening cases about their own processes and not necessarily uh, murder. And finally, in terms of the help for families, we did uh, uh, catch up with some of the families. We've been trying to keep in contact with them about what they know uh, in regard to what has been updated today. But there is also a clear um, sense that they are struggling. Uh, what help is being offered to them? Psychosocial help, are they being helped and all of that? Because some of them are even saying that they've spent quite some money to try and ensure that the mental well-being of their family members is intact. So we just want to understand what is being given to them as far as help is concerned. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are there any further take us before we take it back to leadership? No. Thank you. Over to you, Mr. Thank you. I've got I've got one question, Premier. The link. <laughs> So that I'm, I'm done. Uh, definitely the way it happened in this uh, tavern cannot be linked with uh, other other killings that are taking place in other ship inns that could be in, in Orlando, in Soweto, or Sweetwaters in, in Marisbeck. Uh, simply different is that you, you can't send doctors there because people are short to send police to be investigated. But to expand even on that one, there's absolutely no evidence that those killings of uh, taverns are linked. Uh, while we haven't arrested anybody in, in Soweto, uh, though people properly identified and the chase according to the provincial commission there, we have arrested uh, people in Marisbeck where five people have been arrested, including the finding of the, of the murder weapon there. 
and uh, the the issue is clearly not even the target. The person that was shot there, they were fighting on other, on other things like they were fighting on drugs. Uh, some people that died extra there uh, were, were people that died because we were at the wrong place at the wrong time when the ship in when this guy was hunted. There's another one that happened in Mameloti. Those people, that people that was killed, was killed by uh, the, 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 the person that had a financial grudge rather than uh, rather than any kind of uh, organized shipping or tavern attack. Uh, as we have said, we, we absolutely don't have the evidence at the present moment. Uh, people that were killed in the Alex uh, were shot randomly and there was nothing else but the robber uh, in, in, in Alex. <coughs> Fortunately, we saw people appeared in court yesterday uh, in Alex and uh, we found about five firearms now and uh, uh, 39 cellular phones were found there. Uh, so some of them have been positively identified by the people that were robbed from them. So it's different reasons. Definitely there is no coordination that has been witnessed and no evidence that has been collected to say the shooting in the, in, in, in the places of, of drinking, those places where people they go to relax are, are organized. So uh, if they are organized, then they, they, they would be uh, from gangsterism and other things. Terrorism is, is far away from it. Uh, if you talk about terrorism, talk about a very high level of organization funded and the uh, reasons and people would have come out to claim and all that. So it's criminality that has increased and we look at it uh, as such and we're working it as such. Uh, the, the investigation, Krina, I will leave it to the police. Uh, what, what else are they investigating? Uh, the Deputy National Commissioner is here. Uh, to answer on that one. Thanks. Uh, well, because I'll give you Mamu Sigiti up until it gets to Dr. Matiwane, who must be a sweeper on, the, on this matter. Uh, briefly, uh, from where I'm seated, uh, uh, Ray, the Dr. Matuani can also talk to that, the issues of uh, test process, and uh, this you can predict and uh, from a project point of view, uh, see how things are going in turnaround time. What I know is that uh, there is a backlog nationally. There are so many issues that need uh, the laboratory uh, attention. Uh, that's why uh, soon, probably by end of this year or early next year, we will be opening up uh, with Minister a laboratory here in Nelson Mandela to uh, complement uh, this uh, traffic that is up into Cape Town on the uh, laboratory that deals with such kind of uh, the, the cases. So there's work that is being done to alleviate that. Uh, under normal situation, probably Dr. Maduane can say what you would have, but this is a sensitive issue that you needed to navigate it through carefully because all cases are sensitive. All people are looking for the results uh, of, of their cases, whether it's gender-based violence or rapes and other things that are really uh, taking place out there. So the, also JJ, the, the methanol uh, susceptibility, uh, I think you can also speak to it, uh, Dr. Matiwane, uh, but what we all, all know is that uh, it is part of the alcohol family, and it can, it can be fatal. It can be fatal. We all know uh, that. Uh, but uh, how the accessibility of it, and go to Charles class, I'm going to be like this, I'm better than you. You are not being You see, but I think Dr. Matuan, from a, a scientific point of view, you will be able to speak uh, to it. Uh, but it's something that can be found in us, but it depends on the uh, metabolism process and how it then gets uh, uh, excreted or taken out of our bodies. But it's going to speak to that. Uh, on the issue, uh, I think Minister has helped us on that. 
allegations and that all that uh, leveled against, etc., whether they are investigating death, they would deal with that, it was now Likabot has opened a case uh, <coughs> on the fact that young people who are underaged were found to be in a liquor licensed um, liquor outlet. And uh, surely the law says you don't sell liquor to the underage. That's what Liquor Board uh, is looking at. It was they are the custodian of that particular uh, law. It's ongoing psychosocial support uh, to the families and uh, today even if it might have been subsiding but I've realized today that more effort is needed. I think we need to, to increase the tempo, uh, keep the momentum of being closer to the families. And it's painful when a parent uh, says, this was the only child I, I had, and there is no hope that I can find another child at my age. It's so deep, so painful. So it tells you uh, those scars will need some time, as I've indicated earlier, that it's going to be time uh, that will help the um, uh, families uh, of the deceased uh, healing. But government is there with all the support, um, pre-funeral, post-funeral, we continue interacting. Uh, we've already seen now where to go, where to support, uh, because people are not the same. So definitely, we're still going to be packaging more that uh, pinpointed uh, support and um, targets uh, into certain families to make sure that those families are able to acclimatize and are able to accept what they cannot change. So it's going to go like that. Uh, now, it's, it's General Musigiti. Thank you very much, Premier. Yes, Lundok Wushle Kulu. The case of um, contravention of Liqua Act was opened by um, the Liqua Board. When the call was made, when the noise was heard, all responsible assembled at the crime scene and the responsible department and uh, organization had to take their part and the case was therefore open because they were part and parcel of those who visited the crime scene. Of course, we're working with um, Liquabot from time to time because we have got the duty as the police to ensure the compliance thereof. The other matter that the police is investigating is on the issue of the death of the 21 individuals. There is an inquest docket that is under investigation. Dr. Matuani did give a preliminary report on that. There is a collaboration between both the Police Forensic Science Laboratory as well as the Department of Health and Pathology Unit that is doing the investigation to determine the cause of death that will then make its way into the docket that will go to court. That is the inquest docket that will then be presented to court where the argument will, arguments will be heard and the conclusive uh, report will therefore be uh, provided when that is done. So there is an investigation that the police is doing in as far as the death of the 21 uh, uh, young people is concerned and that is on the inquest docket. Thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot uh, again. My name is Lita Matiwan. I'm the Deputy Director General for Clinical Services in the province. Okay. Uh, the <clears throat> outstanding uh, uh, pro pro processes that are still outstanding, yes, we, we are looking for other uh, uh, activities that might come through. For example, formic acid, which is a, a byproduct of, of, of methanol and, and may actually tell us more about the, the, the concentrations and the levels that, that, that actually are found and whether there is toxicity. So there are other activities. Like I said, there's also the gastric and bowel issues that, that have been taken. That will also tell us what was in the uh, contents of what they've been drinking and so forth. So there are other activities and, and other uh, toxicological uh, processes that, that are going on in the lab in, in Cape Town. Now, the, 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 we take the samples and send them through to the lab in Cape Town 
which does the toxicology and like the Premier is saying, I mean, they are doing uh, overall toxicologies for the country. So, so I, I, at this point in time, we depended on them in, ter in terms of them giving us the timelines and so forth. And we wait for the results as they come. Through. So I can't give now and say this, this is the end point of when the, 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 the results are going to come through. And then <clears throat> how does the methanol then get into the body? Really, the, 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 the first and obvious way is if you ingest it, so you, you take it in. Uh, uh, that is one way of getting it. But it does become also a byproduct of some uh, uh, other chemicals. So, so we, 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 we can't say now whether they've ingested or it is a, a byproduct of a, a chemical that, that they've taken. So we are waiting for, for, for those results. Hence, we're saying, let us wait for that, let us hear, and let us hear also what concentrations there are, because that could also give us a direction to say, if it was at these levels, it most probably was ingested, or if it was at these levels, it most probably went in through this format, and so forth. Okay, thanks. Okay, so this is yeah, just in, in terms of what you didn't answer the question of, you know, where do we find this methanol and how is it then dispersed? Um, just to try and understand that, that sense, because we are trying to make sense of it. You are the experts, but we just want to have get more, more sense around this methanol and, and the levels in which it would, they would be, it would be fighter in that regard. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Pumbu. I'll take the last round, colleagues. Uh, Daimani, I see you, Kara. Uh, uh, Standy, you want to wanna come back? You still have another one in addition to. Yes, but it, it, yeah, it, uh, it as the, the, later on, then it's fine. Later on, yeah. it's, it's another matter. Thank you so much. Johnny, yours? Okay. And then we'll take it. I think mine is, uh, is uh, addressed to the police this time. <coughs> Are there any chance that the deceased learners are closely related, meaning uh, they could have had uh, a gathering somewhere, or could it be all the results of what happened in the tavern? Um, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. The, po the point I'm trying to make is if these uh, learners probably are closely related, we know that from our investigations is that there were groups and groups from various areas entertaining themselves, but Enyobene became the central point because those were there, kept, because the kids are in contact, kept telling them, come this site, it's free in for all here. So I'm trying to understand or gauge if the deceased learners could probably be in one of the groupings, probably they had their own grouping elsewhere, or could it, be, it, could it have been that they met the substance at the at the, the tavern. Okay. No, thank you so much, uh, uh, Stanley. Wait, we'll take it. Okay. I think part of what I was going to ask to Dr. Matiwa that can come But I wanted to ask a uh, 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 Do you have an indication of maybe when likely to then consume this six hours before or an hour before? I just wanted to have any indication of when life is in the country, when it comes to the meter, not all. Yes. Thank you, Kara. Thank you. I'm from Zagreb and I'm from California. I understand that you do come in small measurements in alcohol. Um, did you perhaps use the base of alcohol at the seven? Was it taken for this? And do you currently suspect that someone might have you know, put something into it? Or where does it come from? At the moment, what is your suspicion? Thank you, Mali. Um, it's Mali Omotai, Mali from News before. The Provincial Department of Health initially announced that it treated 16 uh, patients from, from that uh, tavern project. 
for time shafts, uh, vomiting, headaches, and backaches. Um, now, I want to understand, did you take samples from, from these patients? And was methanol detected from, from your bodies? I don't know what is this methanol, if you can explain the name for normal people. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, thanks, thanks. Methanol is an alcohol, but it's not the base alcohol for drinking. The base alcohol for drinking is ethanol. Okay, so methanol is actually a very, it's a toxic. A, a, a meter, a type of alcohol to the body, but you see the, 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 the challenge is that here we can't speculate and say it came from this, it probably is from that or what. So I'm saying you can ingest it or it can be part of the byproducts of some of, 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 of uh, compounds that you drink. So I, I don't want us to start to say, no, this methanol could have come from here and come from here because it's going to start to be starting to interfere with the investigation itself. So I, I really plead that we don't go into that detail, I'm sure. That's uh, why I'm looking. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So I think that was the main question. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. the, the issue of whether um, the children were coming from somewhere to the to the place where they have gathered. No. Okay. We are investigating. Sorry. We are investigating what transpired at the place where um, the children were found. Brief as like that, very concise brief to the point. <laughs> the, the point uh, what you, you were trying to ask uh, JJ is, is what we all know. There's something funny in our community and our society where young people, when they are done with exams, they come together for whatever. I just forget the name. Washing, washing the pen or pens down. I've never experienced that. Not the pens down. So that on its own, I'm, I'm aware I've been told it is more common. It's happening at the year in PCM. The spot areas where they are easily found, these young people down the circle there somewhere, or your, I don't want to mention uh, people's uh, uh, areas, but somewhere there, where young people normally come together. It's, it's a very funny uh, thing. At some point, uh, we will want to uh, we'll celebrate, or even before the Zaza out. Uh, so I think it's something that is becoming so common uh, in our uh, communities. And, I think uh, that's why we are calling for everyone. Uh, because the police are not responsible so that one can do a cool kind of. Java says she looked at Lindo Boba, this is all Kazal and Jabazan Nam Sanje, and Gendi, my air and way, Ugozo Tigang, Woku, Kulum Trimbi, Woku, Kangela, Uno Bangela, no Kupana, this is Zagaban, this Alan Tegele, and the Gepa Essen Alba. In Kokatas Ville, Uzo Tigang, Woku, as Bonagal signed the Boba, Genen and Angianiso. Kukona or Gunga Kereganga, Kumakas, Abanduan, your carbon monoxide, your methanol, no Joala got a good one and consecutive Keregil, Kubandu, Ebanese, Abakelo. I want to roll in those. 
<laughs> so, God, I get Panswalemego Sikuyo, Sipanda, Guando, Quenzel Basic, and Segis in the Goba Castle City, Dagana, Eona report at the Beleleo, a singer for Nisail, a Gananjaco, a Sifun Kubamba, Intua, Gentropi Savel. Sibetele Londo, Sipila, we saw Sayatenzim, and then call on and call along and call and is superstition. Classes and the process is Zama, Uka Kailizu. No good normalized society. Because the person I share and this is a less bang and bing robin could be the item, your cause of death. You don't want to buy a cocaine. Sinner problems up, Zez and Zegayon, Gangayas, Merco, Leco, any family, Leco, any family, Luba, Pupi, Lubani, Yla family, Uma Mom Dala, Otiletile, Nangue Bula, or Park, or Solwang and Westin, as Fun Lord. Yendo fanya koko impendulo ezika kuleyo kule meko enjenga le kono kuzeku ngabi kwa ndaba kanga impendulo kuzinye inda impendulo zifunya nwe gogalen koko si lande la yo ya science si betele la londo ge eza family zinazo sifuna zamke afuna nda chola chola nda cholo meloa na cholo bamba na tinti ngo mtu anawani awani ba yazba na nzi ndo enjenga yoku bando na babo iyamba ngolo si chilo ge ngo kundo koko ba suka la namtana tu pega pambi. Yaube ikpegile nagasana yonge le report kwezi ndawo zi zimbalo wa zi sashegle si za uyela i family zike ngogo si ngeena umnyango no mnyango wana kono guze umzali no umzali aku wazufuma ni ngelo yomdana wake epaya si nga mane si ba zi sa holto wabu kwa da ubade si senza le fit beko kwa kala si bo neku fane le fit so upe ka pambili kubu ngebelolo anu le tu nabo alu pelang i department ya kwa social development in a plan, a yen's lay or a title lay, you know, talent family, ne family. Who can sell about in Mabon or what you're going families? In London, when we're visiting was a family in Jalunda. So long, Kuboke, in a London, in Gapande, a comma Tandabos, and see a Colella in the Goba, no, I was in Nata, a Kakulu, a Okopega Pambi. So then Zitin, a Mandi, Peninis, a Queson Dawo. Zitile, a basing as a cyclist, and in Vaga got a good doctor, a Matua, a Tetang, and Gazes Kulan is sixteen. Kapan Band of Putin, a doctor Matua, Uba Zikones is Kulan, a best case as a trader, the sixteen, in Gaba Guzo, a Solenzi, a Upan, Elisha, a postmodem is of no record. So long as money is there, but you will postmodem can in it. So you only lay investigation in the sense of a post-mortem I see Niganga, then do the see food. So you buy this Nigile, guess in the Glenda. I go on a Mosby and then you get to your own Jalo, Chopo. We wish to be so cool as they were passing, try to say younger land. See, Ted, the one at the best in Wooker has on a car, Sika and Shawa Kalu Kotel, Lucy and Benai, Jalonja. So you buy regularly the long track, the Soleil, Ones and Dog Bass, the Lung Singon, the Saban, the Lung Sail Clan. Kunga biko imego yoku chola chola na kwa bantu. Dr. Mati wana ni hazi ba le mego yes gulane zi 16 kwa na li kondi doba ibi za odi ambele nge. Ia njua ya yoku ba begu nyangwa nendo ivela. Njenge methanol le kaite ya kaoleze elwa. Ya nyangu. Ia kwa zungande. Kuba inezi zikobo. Zitezi kutetu wangazo. Zifumaneka unasechu wale. So kaite ya funya anu wange kaita esha. Now I talk to you, boys, and call on what is this call? So, call on what is so young again on the way in there. You remember, as the people are not able and go off. So, this is our nigger game of minister, a strong attorney. See, finally, the members to be in a little time, but how to little to be seen. Just some members of the families, they, they, they did give us some leeway to say everybody knows there's a pressure and all, but they know that uh, scientific issues, they take some time. So maybe meeting the family and families, it, it does help. Uh, they, they, they did not worry much about time frames. Indeed, everybody wants us to move fast, but they say don't compromise investigation so that when the conclusion comes it should be the real one so that working together has been raised there uh, we'll try from those that are doing the technocratic science investigations to do fast but 
as they reach the conclusion, it should be the real one. That what the families themselves uh, are saying are saying to us. Diamond, uh, I'm done. Uh, it's not a crime that kids come together. You can't investigate that they've come together. Uh, but nonetheless, there was a flyer. Uh, there was a flyer that initially was inviting kids to come in the afternoon and, and all that kind of, uh, of thing. Uh, <clears throat> that was sent to me. Uh, unfortunately, it read, ringed the word Guzofiwa. Uh, I'm sure most of you uh, you 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 saw you saw that one when they were invited and all that, and uh, it's no crime in coming together and all that. So we can't be investigating that. We're investigating what happened in in, in making our case uh, to to die after they've come together. And indeed, uh, it's fine for kids to come together. Uh, we will we'll be very worried, Premi when kids don't come together to enjoy and socially know one another and all that but they still have to be protected we we, we it's not the last time we come back here uh, we still uh, meet the families premier explain <coughs> that it might be uh, necessary to go and and visit each and every family but communities here were promised and we are going to come back and try to find the way what to do so that we never come back here for the same encounter for what has happened. Painful, terrible, so it should be stopped and stopped here. So that's what we are trying to do. Thanks, Prime. And goes, this has been good. There's cameras, cameras, I know it's been here now. There's no camera. We are done.